Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel Card Tricks. My name is David and today we're going to do a card trick with the card change box and the Phantasma deck that you got with your Phantasma Magic Set. Hey, maybe you got the Phantasma Magic Set for Christmas or for your birthday. Inside that you got the card change box or you got a card change box in another Magic Kit, right? This trick that we'll do today, it'll work with any card change box from any magic kit. We're also gonna use the Phantasma deck that we got, and it's gonna be in the order so that wherever you cut the cards, it's always gonna to cut to the five of hearts. Now, if you haven't set up your deck yet, make sure you go and watch the video where I walk you through how to set this deck up so that it works. You want this deck to be able to be in a situation to where anytime you cut the cards, it'll always cut to the five of hearts. Go back and watch that setup video if you haven't done that yet. The other thing you'll need is the Joker card that we took out of the deck when we did the setup. Now you're gonna look at this Joker card and you're gonna see something very interesting about it and that's up here in the corner. It says, look in the box. Look in the box. Well, what's, what's the box? This is the box, right? This is the box. So when it says look in the box, we want them to look in this box. So these two items go together in today's magic trick. All right, so to do today's magic trick, we're gonna have to do a little bit of setup. You need to take one of the extra five of hearts that you got in your Phantasma magic set, and you're gonna place it inside the lid of the change box face down. This is my lid. It's on the left side of me right now, and I placed my extra five of hearts face down. Then I'm gonna place the black plastic tray on top, just like that, and I'm ready to go, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Joker card and I'm gonna turn it upside down so they can't see it, and I'm gonna lay it on top of my tuck case, just like that, okay? So this is face down on the tuck case. We call the box that the cards come in the tuck case, okay? And then I have my deck, and I have my box, my change box, uh, ready to go as well. All right, so when you start your trick, it's gonna look like this. This is what your setup will look like when you begin. And you're gonna draw attention to a couple of things. First, you're gonna say, um, we're gonna do a card trick together, okay? I'm gonna have you select a card in a minute. But first, I want you to notice that I've already made my selection. Uh, this card right here, this is my prediction, okay? This is the prediction that I've already made. Second, I want you to see that I have this box but there's nothing inside. The box is completely empty, right? There's nothing in this box. I'm gonna close the box and then we're gonna do a trick together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I show you that every single card in my deck is different. They're all different and the deck is not in any particular order. Do me a favor and select a card. I'd just like you to cut the deck anywhere you'd like. They cut the deck and they look at their card, and it is the five of hearts. I say, ah, the five of hearts. That's interesting, because wouldn't you be surprised to know that I actually made this prediction right here, that you would pick this card. And they say, wait, I didn't, that's the Joker. Huh? You, you said that would be the prediction. That's not, that's not the prediction, that's the Joker. It's the Joker? Oh. Well, actually, it's not, not the Joker. It's actually what it says right here. Look in the box. Look in the box. And I mean, this box right here. You can actually hear something in there. If I open it back up, this was empty, but now it has your card in it, the five of hearts. Okay, so again, let's run through that just to recap, okay? I'm gonna stick an extra five of hearts in here face down on the lid side, and then put the tray on top. Remember, as long as I hold it like this with my fingers pushing down, I can turn it around and I don't have to worry about anything falling out. I'm gonna take the Joker card and put it on the tuck box like this, so that where the words say, look in the box, right? Those words are gonna go down right there. Let me get this on camera. That's the corner right there where the words are. So I'm gonna pick this up by that corner and cover 
what it says. So you can't see that it says look in the box. So if I leave it like that, hanging off the edge, and I pick it up on the edge, it looks just like a joker. And when they say, no, that's not my card, I'll turn it around and say, oh yeah, but it says right here, look in the box. See, so you're here first, they think it's just a joker, they think you got it wrong, you turn it around, and then you turn it back and say, no, it says look in the box. Okay, so that's hanging off the edge like that. And then you have your deck. So then you start, you say, I have a prediction, right? I have a prediction right here. And then I say, I have an empty box. Make sure that the box is open already and that you're starting in this position. You say, I have an empty box and uh, we'll just put this off to the side. And then I close it, right? Like that. So now it's already loaded. The, the card already fell. So, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna show that. We come back to the deck. We always show that the cards are different, right? Always show the cards are different. Always show that it's in no order. Have them cut wherever they like. They select the five of hearts and then say, oh, that's interesting because I actually made this prediction. I pick it up by the corner and I say, and this is the card I predicted that you would pick. And they say that I didn't pick a five of, I didn't pick a joker, I picked a five of hearts. I say, what? Oh. No, it says look in the box. Look in the box. This box, remember the box I said was empty? Actually inside of it is your card. So that's a fun little trick. And again, really easy to do. The box is gonna do all the work for you. But just remember, when you're doing tricks with this box and this deck, uh, the box is always gonna transform something. The deck is always gonna have the five of hearts. So you make sure that when you show tricks like this, you're only showing it one time to one person. Okay, the, the more you show this same box, the more you show the deck, the more people are gonna catch on to how these gimmicks work. So of the tricks that we've been posting, uh, find one that's your favorite and I would just do that one uh, or find a different trick and do it for a different person. Don't forget our three rules of magic. The first rule is never tell how a trick is done. The second rule is never show the same trick twice to the same person. And the third rule is practice, practice, practice. I know these tricks look easy and they are easy, but you always wanna make sure that you practice them well so that when you perform them, you do them right the first time. Sometimes when we make mistakes in front of somebody else, it can actually give away how the trick is done and we don't wanna do that. So always make sure you're practicing to where these tricks look fantastic. Like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.